Hi children, this is Teacher Connie. Once again, welcome to our online learning journey in Mathematics 5. Are you ready now? Let's proceed. Today, we will discuss about simplifying fraction to lowest term or simplest form. Let us begin by reading the story problem. Come, children, join me in reading this aloud. Mrs. Begonia's class had an educational trip to the children's museum. Six-tenths of the class members joined the trip. Is six-tenths in its simplest form? Let's study these figures. The fractional form of the shaded parts in figure 1 is equal to 6 tenths, while in figure 2, it is equal to 3 fifths. If you will notice, children, the two figures are equal. 6 tenths is equal to 3 fifths. Therefore, the figures show that 6 tenths can still be changed to a lowest term, which is 3 fifths. Thus, 6 tenths is not yet in simplest form. It leads us into a question, how will you change the fraction to its simplest form or lowest term? To answer our question earlier, there are two ways to simplify fraction to lowest term or simplest form. They are cancellation method and division by greatest common factor or GCF. Let us use the first way in simplifying fraction to lowest term or simplest form and that is using cancellation method. The first step is to get the prime factorization of both the numerator and denominator. In this case, we will use the fraction in our story problem and that is 6 tenths. The prime factorization of 6 is 2 times 3, while for 10, that is 2 times 5. The second step is to cancel the common factors in our numerator and denominator. In this case, we will cancel 2 and 2. Third step is to get the product of the remaining factors in the numerators and denominators. So the remaining factor in our numerator is 3, in our denominator is 5, so the fraction is 3 fifth. Therefore, the simplest form or lowest term of 6 tenths is 3 fifths. The second way is division by greatest common factor or GCF. The first step is to get the greatest common factor of the numerator and the denominator using the ladder method. We will use the fraction from the story problem which is 6 tenths. Now, let us get the greatest common factor of 6 and 10 by dividing it by the smallest prime number, which is 2, because 6 and 10 are divisible by 2. We will get the answers of 3 and 5. If you will notice, 3 and 5 has no common prime divisor or common factors other than 1. So, we will stop the division process. 2 here will be the common factor of 6 and 10. And since 2 is the common factor of 6 and 10, it is also the greatest common factor of 6 and 10. The second step is to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the GCF. So 6 tenths divided by 2 halves, and 2 halves here is the fraction equal to 1. 6 tenths divided by 2 halves, it will give us the answer of 3 fifths. Therefore, the simplest form or the lowest term of 6 tenths is 3 fifths. Alright children, let's have some practice exercise to apply what we have learned earlier. Let's go! 
change the following to lowest term or simplest form using cancellation method number one, eight twelves to eighteen twenty fourths. For division by greatest common factor or GCF, number one, fourteen twenty eight to sixteen twenty. Cancellation method. The first step is to get the prime factorization of both the numerator and the denominator. So we will use a 12 as our example. The prime factorization of 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, while for 12, that is 2 times 2 times 3. The second step is to cancel the common factors. In a 12, there are two pairs of common factors. Those are 2 and 2. The third step is to get the product of the remaining factors in the numerators and denominators. And in this case, the remaining factor in our numerator is 2, while in our denominator is 3. So we will form a fraction of 2 thirds. Therefore, the simplest form or lowest term of a 12 is 2 thirds. For our example number 2, we will still use the cancellation method. The first step is to get the prime factorization of both the numerator and the denominator. We will use the fraction 1824. The Prime factorization of 18 is 2 times 3 times 3, while for 24, that is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. The second step is to cancel the common factors. In 1824, there are two pairs of common factors, and these are 2 and 3. Third step is to get the product of the remaining factors in the numerators and denominators. And the remaining factor in our numerator is 3, while in our denominator, that is 2 times 2. So we will form a fraction of 3 fourths. Therefore, the simplest form or lowest term of 1824 is 3 fourths. For our third example, we will use division by greatest common factor, or GCF. The first step is to get the greatest common factor of the numerator and the denominator using the ladder method. So we will use the fraction 1428. So we will get first the GCF of 14 and 28. We will divide it by the smallest prime number, which is 2, because 14 and 28 are divisible by 2. The result are 7 and 14. Next, we will divide this by 7, because 7 and 14 are divisible by 7. So we will get the result of 1 and 2. In 1 and 2, there are no common factors or common prime divisor, so we will stop the division process. 2 and 7 here are the common factors of 14 and 28. Then, we will get the product of 2 and 7 to get the GCF of 14 and 28, which is equal to 14. Second step is to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the GCF. So, let us divide 14, 28 by 14, 14. 14 14 here is what we call the fraction equal to 1. So 14 28 divided by 14 14, that will give us the answer of 1 half. Therefore, the simplest form or the lowest term of 14 28 is 1 half. For our last example, we will still use the division by greatest common factor or GCF. The first step is to get the greatest common factor of the numerator and the denominator using the ladder method. Our last fraction is 1620. So we will divide 16 and 20 to get the GCF by the smallest prime number, which is 2, because 16 and 20 are divisible by 2. We will get the results of 
8 and 10. We will still divide 8 and 10 by the smallest prime number, which is 2, because 8 and 10 are still divisible by 2. We will get the results of 4 and 5. If you will notice, 4 and 5 has no common prime divisors or common factors except for 1. So we will stop the division process. 2 and 2 here are what we call the common factors of 16 and 20. So we will get the product of 2 and 2 to get the GCF of 16 and 20. That will give us 4 as the answer. The second step is to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the GCF. So 1620 divided by 4 fourths. 4 fourths here is what we call fraction equal to 1. So 1620 divided by 4 fourths, that will give us the answer of 4 fifths. Therefore, the simplest form or lowest term of 1620 is 4 fifths. Don't forget this, children. The two ways to simplify fraction to lowest term or simplest form are cancellation method and division by greatest common factor or GCF. Steps in using cancellation method. The first one is to get the prime factorization of both the numerator and the denominator. Second, cancel the common factors. And lastly, get the product of the remaining factors in the numerators and denominators. For division by greatest common factor, or GCF, the first step is to get the greatest common factor of the numerator and the denominator using the latter method. And lastly, divide both the numerator and the denominator by the GCF. That's all for now, children. See you soon in our next online learning journey in Mathematics 5.